All right, everybody, prepare for your worlds to be turned upside down by the amazing grandeur of the Helm synthesizer and its powerful functions. So I'm going to add a Helm instrument. You can also do this standalone. You don't have to do it in Cubase. Okay, there are these things called presets where if I click right here in this area, if I just click on this gray bar, it will give me these folders, factory presets, sound of Socrates, user patches. Um, these are different presets. People made sounds and save them. So if I just click on one, they managed to make all these different sounds just using the parameters that you see on your screen. Uh, why is it twitching green? You know, all this crazy, silly stuff. So there's a lot of powerful stuff that you guys can get into here. And I'm going to teach you how to make your own presets. So many cool things here. Okay, here's some that I made. Really, really cool stuff, guys. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to exit um, because once I click on a preset, I can't go back to the way things were before. It's very difficult. So I'm going to add Helm again. Okay, so here's where we start. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I have two oscillators up. Uh, I'm just going to make a crazy sound together and just kind of watch what I do. So I've got two oscillators. I'm going to change the waveform of one of them. And then I'm going to increase the voices. This this little uh, V right here is really important. Check it out. So by increasing the voices from one to like seven or nine, you see how it just thickens up the sound. So definitely increase those voices if you want a thick sound. Okay, I'm going to turn on the filter. Okay, now I'm going to go up here to the arpeggiator. ARP stands for arpeggiator. I'm going to turn that on, and I'm going to hold down three notes on the keyboard. Octaves will meaning it will go up higher. And I can change the pattern up, down as played. Random. The gate will make the sound shorter or longer sounding, like this. And the cool thing is, guys, every single parameter you can right click and you can learn to the mod wheel on your keyboard. Now, we only have one physical wheel, so keep that in mind that we can only assign one at a time. Okay, already really cool. Let's turn on some reverb. Oh, this sounds like something out of Tron by Daft Punk. It sounds really electronic, really fresh. I'm just playing an A minor chord, notes A, C, and E. You could choose any three white notes. It's probably going to sound OK. Awesome. OK, so I can change the attack and release. Maybe not. I'm going to leave that attack pretty straight. OK, here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go down to this LFO. So an LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator. What this means is that I can assign this change, this parabolic curve. You see it going at this rate or frequency. I could change the frequency to the different note values, just like in Cubase, where we have the different grid resolution, eighth note, quarter note, half note. I can change those. You see it going faster. Now I'm going to click on the helm. OK, helm means helmet. So once I click on helm, you see our screen change. I'm in an entirely new world when I click on this little helmet and it turns blue. Okay, we are entered into a new realm. So what I'm going to do is any of these parameters, watch what happens. I'm going to move it like this. And then I'm going to unclick the helm. What it's doing is it's actually changing this parameter based on this low frequency oscillator. It's kind of hard to describe. So when I click on this, this is actually, imagine this moving back and forth. Let's automate something else. Let's change the volume of oscillator two. So if I click on the helmet and I move this down, Check it out. So 
So whenever I click on a helmet and change something, it's going to, yeah, there we go. It's going to automate based on how much of the knob I choose for it to change to, uh, it's going to change it. So without it, if I turn it off, if I just make it neutral right here, it'll sound like that. But once I bring in that oscillator, just further ways to change and manipulate the sound to create some really cool stuff. Okay, let's turn off this low frequency oscillator and let's turn off the arpeggiator. Now we got stutter. So stutter will just repeat the sound. It's just repeating the sound. That's what stutter does. If I hold down a note, I can change the note value of how uh, quickly it's played. Cool, I could turn on delay and distortion. These are just basic effects. Uh, Formant uh, does this. It's kind of an equalizer. It, it does things with the frequencies. To me, uh, the fo fo formant kind of makes it sound like more robotic. Wow, okay, so that's enough for now. There's even more things you can do, but that's enough for now. Go ahead and make your own sound just by tweaking these knobs. Try to get into the LFO. Just try it. See what happens. You will not be disappointed. Good luck, guys. Bye.